Hey guys, welcome back to card review. So today we're looking at another Burning Abyss card. This is the last Burning Abyss card of the set that I know of. I was like, did I talk about everything else? I think I did. Yeah, I talked about, you know, a piece of shit, a lich, and I talked about Crap Cab, I mean Cow Cab, and then I talked about Rubrics Cube, the Tuner, and then I talked, of course, I already talked about uh, Virgil. So I guess it's time to now talk about the trap card that they're getting. Well, getting got oh yeah at this point the sneak peek was uh was this past saturday and then friday is the set so they, they're getting it definitely uh they got it you know i think it's a super rare in the set so yeah anyway this card is fire lake of the burning abyss so it is a normal trap card and it's a simple trap card so let's go ahead and go it so you send two face up burning abyss monsters you control to the graveyard target up to three cards on the field and destroy those targets now, isn't that just dandy? Giving Burning Abyss a freaking Icarus attack. I mean, of course, with Icarus attack, you send one monster, one Winged Beast monster, and you pop two. So then it's like, eh, we're not going to do that for Burning Abyss. That would be too easy. You know, that would be way too easy. Just have one Burning Abyss on the field? Like, come on, anybody can do that. So they're like, you know what? We're going to up the difficulty hard mode style. Two Burning Abyss monsters. But you know what? You get to pop three cards. You know? Because they're like, well, you, you play this card. And you send two Burning Abyss monsters, so three, and then you get to target up to three cards in the field, but you'll go for three and blow those up, so three for three. That's even, except it's Burning Abyss. So generally, you're going to be sending, unless you're sending, uh, you know, what, freaking uh, uh, rubrics, and I think, I think Virgil has to be destroyed. Or is he just sent to the graveyard? I can't remember, but... You know, unless there's any rubrics, you're going to be getting something. You're going to be plussing. You know? So, you can just play this on, you know, a Skarm and a, and a Graph or a Sir or whatever and just plus. You know, blow up your opponent's three and just plus. Like, you go, what, plus, plus so much. You, you, you go so, so good, so good. So, you play this, which is a neg one. And then you get rid of your two burning abyss, but they'll pay you back. So you play one. So you neg one to go up three on your opponent. Because the burning abyss monsters that you're sending are going to pay you back. One full. You're like, hey, you sent me to the graveyard, so you lost something. But hey, here you go. So you, 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 you're, just, you're just, oh my god, this card is good. This card literally solves all the Burning Abyss problems. All the way. It, 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 the, the problems that the Burning Abyss deck was having, they're virtually gone now. You know? like, like one of the things is they really didn't have much bite. But, you know, what's better bite than just biting every single thing on your opponent's side of the field? You know, you know, you know they have trouble, difficulty, of course, with particular cards such as, uh, you know, Shadow and Prism Mirror, uh, Macro, uh, you know, uh, you know Defissure, and... You know, well, not, well, not, no, but Soul Drain, Soul Drain and Shadow and Prison. The other two, you know, you know, you have to send the, the monsters to the graveyard, then you won't be able to, so you can't even play this card. But, you know, two of the be some of the best cards, of course, Shadow and Prison Mirror and, um, and, uh, and Soul Drain. You could just simply just go, okay, play this, send my two burning wrist, blah, blow them up. You know, <laughs> so, uh, you know, definitely, and since they're they're at a separate chain, because you play this, send your two Burning Abyss, blows up, those cards are resolved, Burning Abyss monsters start, start a separate chain. So the Shadow Imprisoning and the, the, and the Soul Drain would be off the field, therefore the Burning Abyss monsters that you just sent would activate their effect, you know? You can go ahead and chain it, you know? You could have, you know, you have a Burning Abyss monster in the field, summon one, and they're just like, chain disappearance, you're like, chain, blah, you know? So, uh, you know, because the sending is the cost, so... Yeah, that's just ridiculous. Like, this card is really good, really good. Um, you know, the only thing I'm trying to debate on is how many would you play. Uh, you know, and you can get it back to your hand with Dante, because Dante says when you send to Gary, you get a Burning Abyss card. So you can go ahead and just grab back that uh, that uh, Fire Lake, put it right back in your hand, and use it for later. You know? And you know, I know Konami is like, oh, we're gonna make it a little bit more difficult, but this literally can be done set up with a two card, with a one card combo, two card combo, one card combo. You can just summon a uh, tour guide. Tour guide summon. I think it's who is it? It's a Graph or Sir. Can't remember which one summons from the deck. Whatever summons from the deck, I get this too mixed up. Um, Exine Dante, of course. Detach the Graph of the Sir, whichever summons from the deck. 
mill, whatever you want. One three doesn't matter. Of course, that one monster that you detached, Sir Graf, who summons from the deck, will summon another burning of this monster from the deck. And it could be Skarm, or no, probably Skarm. Then you'll have Dantain Skarm in the field, set this Lake of Fire. Then, you know, during your opponent's end phase, or if they try to do something during their turn, you know, just flip this up, send those two, blow that up, you know. Uh, Dante, go ahead and get you your Lake of Fire back. And, uh, and, uh, Skarm, go ahead and search you for a tour guide. There you go. Tour guide, do the same play all over fucking again. Blow up three. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Like, so freaking good. Like, they're going a little bit too far. Like, this is it. You're done. You're done. Running your best. You don't need anything else. You are done. You are complete. You, you know, Konami, you took this deck way too far. And I, I'm, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, the tuner not doing anything to, you know, uh, a Lich not being good, to Calcab not being good, to, you know, you know, Virgil just being the poster child of this pack so you can go ahead and sell it because it's a secret rare, to just giving them the, this last hurrah trap card. You know, I hope that, you know, come January, we hit the deck, you know, we hit Tour Guide, put that bitch back down and just step away from this deck because it, it was too good. It was too, you know, it's supposed to be just, you know, a... Uh, you know, just a fun little TCG exclusive deck, you know, they didn't expect this deck to be top tier, they, you know, are you, they, they were looking to the LCG and they are like, oh, what are the top decks, well, Shadal's and, uh, Talon, said, all right, well, that's, you know, that's the product that we're trying to sell, you know, you know, what else can compete with them, you know, and then you're like, yeah, let's make Burning Abyss, we aren't thinking, we, you know, floating is good, floating is really good, so ridiculous, re freaking ridiculous so, um, yeah, I'd say this card's doing too much, but, you know, I think you're just doing too much with Archetype, but it's, I, I feel like this is a good finale for it. I think giving them this trap card and giving them Virgil is a good finale. That's it. Do the rest of what you want to do with the rest of the format. Do well Burning Best, because come January, let's hope that you get hit. Alright, so tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So we'll be back Thursday with another episode, of course. And I think I'm going to go ahead and look at the new Constellar card, because of course I play Constellar. So I'm also look at it, right? Alright, so, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I'll see you guys Thursday with another card review. Thanks for watching.